hello. Alright, so it's been a while since I've done a video um, for this page, and I figured since I am sitting in a squat for probably about eight minutes or so is the plan, um, just to work on this mobility, I figured I'd do a video um, about how things are going and <laughs> why I'm sitting in a squat for so long. So, uh, talking about mobility, talking about um, use it or lose it, that's kind of the theme for me uh, the past, say, two weeks maybe. Um, so, I saw a post on Instagram or s somewhere, probably Instagram, and it's actually probably a couple posts that I'm putting together in my head now at this point. Um, but somebody had posted a little bit about, um, like, the, the use it or lose it model and like had a, had a great diagram of a circle with all of the activities that you do kind of generally for the day. You're walking, you're, you know, your grocery carrying, your uh, DIY projects, your home improvement stuff, uh, your workout, your athletics, but just like the stuff of everyday life. Right? And the circle is like um, good quality movement, good quality tissue, everything feels good within that, within that circle. Um, but like when the exercise and prehab type stuff and mobility type stuff uh, flags, right, when it wanes, um, that, that circle shrinks. And then the stuff that feels good leaks out to the edges, right? So your DIY projects, your your carrying of, of groceries or whatever, like it makes it harder to maintain that uh, without uh, pain or poor movement patterns or or whatever. And the things that help shrink that sh circle would be inactivity, um, high sugar diets, uh, uh, alcohol, things that like mess up your tissue quality over time, um, not having the right nutrients, not being hydrated enough. Um, but I think movement is one of the biggest things because you get to, you get to, sh you know, get blood flow through these areas. You get to add compression. You get to add all these different things, um, and especially with exercise, right? Like uh, regular exercise is going to um, change the blood flow. It's going to change the tissue quality all over. It's going to change the way that your um, hormones operate. It's going to change your DNA even. So all of these things, anyway, that, that circle shrinks, right? And you start to get the leak out on the edges where the harder DIY project or, or lifting of something is gonna, is gonna tweak something. Um, and so, so I was thinking about that recently. It's that use it, use it or lose it. And the other place where that comes up for me is I'm a new dad. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to stave off that dad bod, just trying to find uh, the time to get in here uh, and and do some some work. So today, uh, and actually I'll go I'll go back about a week ago. I um, I woke up and my back was was killing me, like as if I had done a really hard, uh, like foolishly hard without warming up deadlift workout the day before. Um, and I you know I've had workouts where I've done that and I've been like, ugh, I knew I should have done something different. I should have fixed this. Blah blah blah. But this was after doing nothing. I think, I think we literally had a day of let's like hang out and sit on the couch. Um, and I, I think sitting that long or something tweaked something for me. And for a few days, I actually had like, um, you know, sciatic pain and, and even uh, weakness in, in my left leg almost, uh, you know, from like, like hard to walk kind of thing. Like I, I considered taking a cane to uh, my child's uh, mini gym class. And like, that's a scary fucking thing. Excuse my language, but um, I'm still a young man. Like, I joke about being, being like, I jo joke about being an old man, etc. You know, I've got these wrinkles. But, um, you know, I'm still a young man. And to, to feel that degradation in, um, in my body and like that type of, of uh, issue walking like that that actually really scared me in terms of uh, where things are at so it was a wake-up call for me to uh, really get back into this routine and care for myself so that I can I can be an active dad and all these things and um, 
So that post got me uh, in terms, you know, that 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 of ev that event got me, that post got me, and um, you know, and then I saw a post from Eric Cressy on Instagram or something, and he was going through mobility work and working on uh, mobilizing his hips and that kind of thing, and his his three year old daughter was like copying him and, and giggling on, and I was like, oh, you know, that's the that's the place where making this activity, making making care for the body. Um, you know, we're, we're working on nutrition right now. We're just teaching our, our daughter how to eat. And so, um, you know, we get to pick the best foods for and all that. And that's been, that's been a high priority. But also looking at, like, she's already starting to learn and copy and figure things out. Like, she sees us eat and everything that we put to our mouth, she's like, I want to try that. You know, I would like, she's grabbing onto whatever it is. And so seeing that post from uh, Cressy and with his daughter, copying him like that is like oh yeah here's the place where they're they're learning to be athletes just through watching him he doesn't he doesn't coach them they're three years old like he doesn't he doesn't deal with that but it's it's the place where they get to see how their father and and the people that he coaches and the athletes in his gym and all that um, operate and and they're learning movement patterns and maintenance patterns for that'll last them a lifetime whether they know it or not and so that's that's the other place where I'm looking at um, how can I make this thing that you know has always been a priority for me and always makes me feel good. How can I now uh, move that back up now that now that sleep has come back? Um, I, I saw something else, right? Uh, it was a, a tweet where somebody was like, "I am so freaking tired of all of these um, single." Uh, <laughs> single young men with no kids talk about productivity, um, you know, in their morning routines. And I, I had to, like, I laughed out loud at that one because I have been a guy who teaches that kind of thing. And being a new dad, I'm like, wow, I was <laughs> so full of shit in the terms of understanding um, how to really, like, prioritize and take time. And I'm learning. But um, without experiencing you know, the responsibility of, of fatherhood and parenthood, it's like that productivity piece is completely different. So anyway, um, I'm getting to the end of my little little time down here and I feel pretty mobile. I just wanted to go through um, some of the pieces that I'm working on here. So I'm actually stretching this out, trying to keep my heels down, trying to round my back um, in here. but. So what, I, what I've been doing is using that little orange peanut in the back as well as the white lacrosse ball. I ground the heck out of all of my hips, glutes, um, front of the hip, hip flexor, like all around. Spent about 15, 15 minutes or so uh, getting into all those spots, letting it relax. Um, orange, orange peanut up the spine, up the rib cage, and then using that weight plate be, uh, behind me as well, I would grab that overhead and really add some extra tension uh, to work out the thoracic spine. Um, mobilizing the thoracic spine helps to release the low back as well afterwards. Oh, all right. I'm gonna finish this up. Oh, get out of this position, let, let some blood flow happen in terms of those, whew, in terms of those hips. So, did that for the mobilization of the thoracic and the hips. Uh, used the, one of those big foam rollers, uh, just the perform, perform Better foam roller, and went all up the side of the leg, front of the leg, um, you know, kind of the whole, all the parts, but uh, also hitting at the rib really getting that extension, stretching that extension with the weight, um, stayed in that position for a few minutes, um, also opened up the shoulder using the band, some, some rear distraction, so I'd wrap the band here, attach it to something behind me, and really stretch that out and stretch that neck, um, and yeah, those, those are the main pieces. I did some other things um, in terms of just some of my more basic stuff. Uh, but really just focusing on everything up and down uh, the spine, the hips, and the shoulders in terms of um, 
that's where I'm trying to focus on making sure to, to keep all of that healthy right now. So trying to get back to a, a certain level of mobility and stability in there. Um, so now that it's mobilized, I'm gonna do probably some high rep, low weight um, work in terms of goblet squats, front, front squats, um, probably some lunges and pull-ups. So trying to activate all the, all the muscles along the, the back, the hips, uh, the legs, and really focusing on um, best possible uh, form that I can in order to really, uh, now that I've actually added a little bit of mobility here, I wanna add some stability in the right uh, form. So anyway, just a little update. It's been a while, wanted to do a video, also wanted to um, just make a note on, on those important factors of lose, use it or lose it, and um, man, I say I'm a lot. <laughs> anyway, and to focus on those things. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you're, if you're a, a parent, a new parent, an old parent, um, or experienced parent, you let me know. Um, let me know how, what it's like for you to uh, get your workouts in, get your uh, fitness prioritized in your life um, as a parent. Hope you're all well. Uh, stay strong, stay healthy. Kevin Chase signing off.